Hey guys, James Saint here. So today is a quick video about using the Scadio 2 Plus app and the Beacon together. So why would you want to do that? One is because the range of the connection with the app and the drone is limited. I like the functionality of the app and I wish I could fly with the app all the time. Um, but I have, a, I have lost connection using the phone app with the drone. I've been up 100, just 150, 200 feet and I've lost connection. With the Beacon, you get 1.5 kilometers or about one mile. Now, there is a trick to doing this, though, and it's related to the sequence of connection uh, steps. So with everything off but your phone, uh, well, now this is assuming that you've already updated your drone, you've established connection for the first time with the beacon in the drone, and you've downloaded the Skydio 2 Plus app. So with the drone and the beacon off, uh, turn, on the, turn on the beacon, uh, go to the Wi-Fi settings on your phone, and connect the beacon to your phone and the connection information is back here on the back of your beacon. Now that's when you turn on your drone. The beacon will automatically connect to the drone and this will allow you to use either the app or the beacon to control your drone. So again, why would you want to do this? Um, I mean, I'm still learning the, the controls of the, the, the beacon, the controls of the app. I find the app much more intuitive. So I mean, there can be a time when I, you know, I can't use the app and I just have to use the beacon only. But for now, um, I like using the the, the, the Scadio 2 app. Uh, and another reason is that you can't see, when you're using the beacon, you can't see what the drone sees. So when you have the app up and running, whether you're controlling it with the beacon, whether you're controlling it with the app, you can see what the drone sees. Um, now... I mean, this is never, I mean, if you're using the beacon, it's not a big deal. Like if you don't lose sight of your drone, uh, you're doing some orbiting skill, whatever it is you're doing and, and you never lose sight of it, that's not a big deal. Now there could come a time that you do lose sight. And I know that's a no, no, you're not, you're not supposed to lose sight of your drone, but if you lose sight momentarily of your drone, say it, there was some trees or some clouds or whatever, um, uh, and you lost connection, now you can't see you can't see the drone. It could be very hard to control your drone. It could be very hard to reacquire your drone, and it'd be hard to land it. Um, now I know you're not supposed to lose sight of your drone, but uh, even like if you if you're flying and it's clear skies, you have to. You, I've been up like 300, 400 feet, and somebody says something to me, or I have to do something, and I look away and I look back up, I can't find the drone again. So that can be a problem when it comes time uh, to land it. So. Um, so it leads to the, the final major reason of using the app or the controller, um, is the return to home button and you can program, program it in the return to home button, whether it returns to your phone, it returns to your launch point or to, it returns to the point you set on the map. You can do that with the app. You can't do that with the beacon. The beacon has a land button and the drone will land wherever it is. And the obstacle avoidance, when you hit that button, the obstacle avoidance is uh, disabled. Now this could potentially be a huge and costly mistake. So to summarize, why fly with the beacon and the app simultaneously? Two major reasons. One, the greatly increased connection range. And two, the return to home button. And three, you can see what the drone sees. All right, guys, uh, I'll post more as I learn about this drone. It really impresses me. Yeah, the drone really impresses me. I like it a lot. And if you like the video, hit the thumbs up. It'll help my channel. And if you found the information helpful or useful, uh, consider subscribing to the channel. And if you do, remember to turn on notifications so that you don't miss when the next video comes out. All right, guys, thanks so much. We'll see you in the next video.